Hmm, something tells me that Sonic will get murdered in this game. I don't think I could show my face around here again if I wrote that. <laughs> what? What's wrong with Dick? It's just for Richard. I'm not making that up, guys. I'm being serious here. I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. <laughs> yeah, sure. What could possibly go wrong? So, apparently, it's Amy Rose's birthday, and she decides to have a literal murder mystery party on a high-tech train. Might as well talk to some of the invited guests. Holy crap! Knuckles is wearing a hat that's similar to the one he wore back in the Sonic OVA movie! That is awesome! Hey, Edgelord, <laughs> where are you supposed to be? A Starbucks employee? <laughs> because, you know, the way that you're dressed? Maybe I should go. My, my, Blaze. You look very... elegant today. What? I don't have a crush on Blaze. <laughs> Uh, what's going on? The train's starting moving? Is that supposed to happen? I guess not. Ah, crap. Don't tell me we're stuck in here. Oh, that's perfect! Use your hammer, Amy! What's wrong? Um, sure? Tails, Amy is acting sus. Let's see what's up. What important thing could be hiding in the trash bin? Oh, it's empty. <laughs> Imagine if we found a Chaos Emerald in there. Think. What? Think? Huh? Why does this feel like I'm playing Sonic Labyrinth? Alright. Oh, whoa. Yeah, God. Man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sonic died. If only there was something in the game that could have warned us about this. A saloon car. This must be where Knuckles is since he's the sheriff. Ah oh, man, this trash bin is empty too. Eh, maybe there'll be a running joke involving checking trash bins throughout the game. <laughs> Jesus, that arcade machine got wrecked. Who could have? Knuckles, did you punch the arcade machine? What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? My dude, you literally wear gloves that are made for punching. Even we Sonic fans know that. Hey, Vector and Espio! According to Amy, Vector's role is the Butcher. Yeah, no murder vibes there. Especially since Butchers work with sharp objects like knives. And Espio's role is the Poet. Hmm, do you have any poets that you'd like to share? Teardrops in the spring, can you hear me sing? La 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 la, dee 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 dee. Uh, yeah, sorry Espio, but it's not that impressive. If you want to hear real poems, check out Genesis from Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. Here's a poem from him now. When the War of the Beasts brings about the world's end, the goddess descends from the sky. Wings of light and dark spread afar. She guides us to bliss, her gift everlasting. Who do you all think makes better poems? Genesis or Espio? Let me know in the comments below. Damn it! Another empty trash bin. I hope that there will be at least a random silly secret ending that can be unlocked after checking every single trash bin. Well, I'm bored. Espiel, you got any good poems to entertain us? A murderer is on the loose. While doors keep getting locked, tick tick tock goes the clock. While our heroes are in the caboose. Eh, that was better than the last one. But Genesis is still better in my opinion. Sorry, Espiel. The casino car. Wait. That could only mean... Oh no. We gotta interrogate Rouge and Blaze. I'm sure Rouge would do something sus, but Blaze? Surely a radiant princess like her would never commit crimes. Right? 